So I'm going to show you how to change one of these watch batteries in one of these little watches. And this is a kid's watch, so it's pretty small. First thing you need to do is expose the back plate. Now this is a Timex. What you will need is you'll need a small screwdriver. I like this one. It is the variable in that it's got six, so three Phillips and three straight blades. Now this Timex watch takes a Phillips. Let's see if I get the right one here. That one fits pretty well. There are four screws. You need to take the four screws out. It's best to do this on a, a table like this where you can see where your screws are. I'm gonna take the flat blade and take that off. You have to be careful here, there's the seal underneath. All right, so there's the flat plate and I'll show you the seal. You have to look very carefully, but there is a white seal here and you need to make sure that when you put that back on that that seal is in that little groove. I'll show you how this looks. First time I took this apart, the seal came off with it. See, there's the seal, see it? And so you gotta very carefully put that back in right when we go back. But I had to take the cover off to, uh, first to find out what battery. Now the way this works is this entire assembly pops out. Just reach in there and pull that out. And there's this plastic piece here. And this little protrusion, that's where, that goes over the battery part. All right. Okay. I'm gonna kind of reach in there and pull that out and my tip is magnetic. So there's a little clip right there, right there. So you have to tuck the battery underneath that little clip. It's pretty small. I'm not sure if the phone can pick it up. It's right there. So you gotta put it in underneath that. Now here's some batteries that I bought and these are Maxell SR626SW. And that's what it takes for this little Timex. Yours might be different. So that's the positive side. And then the negative is a little bit smaller. All right. So you want to make sure you get it in the right way or it won't work. You put the positive up like this. Now we want to tuck that like this underneath that little tab and then press it down just like that. See how it goes underneath that little tab? All right. Now we just put this on in the reverse order. This tab right here holds the battery down. So that goes right on top. And it's ticking, so we know we have it right. So make sure before you put it back on that it actually is ticking. And now it's just a matter of getting this back on. Now if it won't go on right away, probably what's happening is that that seal has come out of its groove. So make sure you have it 
So this is just a little bit tedious. You've got big fingers. So I'm just gonna start it. You might uh, get a pair of tweezers to put those in there. We'll tighten them all up in a minute or two here. Okay, now we can go ahead and tighten them up. Try and get the same tension on all the screws. And that's all there is to it. Pretty easy. So I'll put a product link for the screwdriver and the batteries that I found. This is a killer deal I got. I think I paid like $3 with free shipping. And you just can't beat that anywhere. And those are the original ones that came with the wash. So anyway, 